evaluate integral minus infinity to plus infinity dx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square and a greater than b greater than 0. Okay, so all are positive and a is greater than b and b is greater than 0. Okay, now, so now you see the given integral is integral over minus infinity to plus infinity dx by x square plus a square into x square plus b square. Okay, now the integral having the limit minus infinity to plus infinity and the function is p of x by q of x. p of x is 1 and q of x is x square plus a square into x square plus b square. So this is contour integral of type 2. So in this type consider consider an upper half circle upper half circle C such that C is minus R to plus R plus gamma that is from the diagram you consider this is y axis this is x axis x axis is a real axis y axis is the imaginary axis an upper half circle this is upper half circle ok minus r to plus r so what is c here c is minus r to plus r plus gamma the curved region you take it as gamma ok so c is minus r to plus r and gamma so this is c so from the diagram the integral can be written as integral over c f of z d z it represent entire half circle it is minus r to plus r minus r to plus r but the minus r to plus r lies only in the x axis so that you have to write f of x dx plus gamma integral over gamma f of z dz ok so by by Jordan lemma Jordan lemma as r tends to infinity as r tends to infinity integral over gamma f of z dz equal to 0 this is by Jordan lemma so substituting here as r tends to infinity minus infinity to plus infinity this integral becomes 0 this this is only will give ok so now integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to as r tends to infinity this 0 only this integral over c f of z dz ok so here f of x is the from the given integral you can write f of x value so integral minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by x square plus a square into x square plus b square into dx is equal to integral over c f of z correspondingly x can be written as z so 1 by z square plus a square into z square plus b square into dz ok now here by Cauchy residues theorem what is Cauchy residues theorem integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues of f of z so this is Cauchy residues theorem ok so by Cauchy residues theorem by comparing these two integral over c f of z dz equal to 2 pi i into sum of the sum of the residues of f of z take equation number 1 where where f of z equal to this is f of z what is that 1 by z square plus a square into z square plus b square ok so this is f of z 
to find the residues as first i want to find out the poles by equating the denominator 0 so equate the denominator 0 z square plus a square equal to 0 and z square plus b square equal to 0 from this z square equal to minus a square and z square equal to minus b square z equal to plus or minus ia and here is it equal to plus or minus ib there are four poles plus or minus ia and plus or minus ib there are four poles next i want to verify which are all lies inside the circle c which are all lies outside the circle c you see already we know the diagram the diagram is upper of circle upper of circle minus r to plus r as r tends to infinity the circle becomes a very large circle but it covers only up above the x-axis it covers only above the x-axis that means you see this is imaginary axis all the negative values minus ia minus ib minus ib are all lies outside c are all lies outside c okay but positive imaginary value ia ib are all lies inside c okay as r tends to infinity definitely all positive imaginary value lies inside c therefore in this problem z equal to ia and ib are lies inside the circle c inside c but z equal to minus i a and minus i b or lies outside circle c okay so now only two poles are lies inside c okay so that i am going to find out residue for these two poles okay formula for residue so residue of f of z at z equal to a is limit z tends to a z minus a into f of z okay so this is the residue of f of z for the simple pole z equal to a so now there are two simple poles lies inside c one is ia another one is ib so now i am going to substitute first ia so residue of f of z at z equal to i a first pole i am going to use first pole i a limit z tends to i a z minus i a into f of z what is f of z it is 1 by z square plus a square into z square plus b square so this is f of z next i want to split into two parts in the denominator so here ia term so that this z square plus a square i want to split into two parts this can be written as z plus ia into z minus ia i don't want to split b terms so z square plus b square here z minus ia z minus ia cancel so substitute ia for z so 1 by ia plus ia 2 ia and substitute ia here ia the whole square is minus a square because i square is minus 1 so minus a square plus b square okay so but generally i am going to write uh, always a is greater than b so that i am going to take a square always positive b square may be negative so take minus outside in the numerator so the residue is minus 1 by 2ia into a square minus b square so this is the residue for pole is it equal to ia next i am going to find residue for ib say same methodology so residue of f of z at z equal to ib is equal to limit z tends to ib z minus ib into f of z like this 1 by z square a plus a square into z square plus b square and now limit z tends to ib z minus ib into 1 by z square plus a square into 
this can be split up into two parts to cancel z minus ib so that z plus ib into z minus ib cancel z minus ib z minus ib so substitute z ib for z so 1 by here minus b square when you substitute z equal to ib minus b square plus a square into ib plus ib 2 ib but already i told you a is greater than b so a positive b negative already it is in the same form a is positive and b negative so that i don't i don't want to take minus outside so this becomes 1 by 2 ib into a square minus b square okay i found two residues for the pole ia and ib okay substituting in the first equation you will be getting answer okay this is the first equation so i am going to substitute the residues we have we found two residues so i am going to substitute some of the residues of f of z so that it is equal to 2 pi i into some of the residues first residues minus 1 by 2ia into a square minus b square plus second residue 1 by 2ib into a square minus b square okay so here the common term you can take outside what is the common term 2i into a square minus b square so 2 pi i by 2i into a square minus b square can take outside so what are the remaining term taking 2i into a square minus b square a only so minus 1 by a and here 2i into a square minus b square take out took outside so 1 by b okay 2i 2i cancel so pi by a square minus b square into cross multiply minus b plus a by a b okay so now this is pi by a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b into this is the numerator a minus b a minus b by a b so a minus b a minus b cancel the final answer is pi by a b into a plus b so this is the answer of the given integral